Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another Minecraft server admin tutorial. Hopefully you guys are making a great day. I'm definitely making a great day. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff because that helps me out for helping you guys out. This is called My Pet by Kiel, I guess? I don't know. I'm not the best at announcing some of that stuff. So it's not exactly like Echo Pet where you can just spawn whatever pet. This is like a capture pet system which is really cool and then if you buy the premium version which we're not going over at this time uh if you like this video a lot maybe i will and we'll go over some of the really advanced features like pet skill trees stuff like that but right now we're just going to get into how do you use it and some of the quick things to set it all up it's really easy so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a big red so here's a big red so what you want to do is Every mob on the server, there's a config file, which you'll see, and you can set how you capture it. There's a lot of different options that you can set, and by default, most of them are set to low HP, so under 10%. Uh, some of them, they have to be tameable. I think horses, you tame them, and then you can capture them. And so you just take your lead over here, and you're just going to smack him a few times, and that's going to lower his health. There we go. And then eventually he's yours and he, don't, he will not run away when you smack him. So first thing we want to do is we want to name him. Now, color codes are included, but they're different. You can't just do the normal Minecraft color codes. It has to be in brackets around it. So we're going to go pet name. And I think even uh, P name would work. So we're going to do red. We're going to do big red. Boom. There's his name. So now he'll follow you around off and on but if you go somewhere where he can't follow let's say like he's stuck right there we can just do p call and he oh that not that pet call and then he'll follow you around now they can attack depending on the skills that you pick for them so you can actually pick the skills for them and so that will that pcst will actually bring up the skill tree now in here you can pick and it tells you exactly some of the other stuff. Um, you can ride him, you can do PvP, you can do a utility. So if you do utility when you right click on him. Okay, so I don't think he can actually carry anything even though it says because he is a baby, but that's fine. I believe he can still attack. So we're going to do PCST and we're going to make a PvP and now he's going to follow. Okay, we'll do, we'll do something easy. We'll spawn a rabbit and if we attack the rabbit, oh my goodness, he's running away. Now he's going to go get him. Now maybe if, if you don't want him to, you could just do pet stop without a knee. And then he immediately stops. So all those things you can do, you can actually do pet info. You can find for more information about him, what his skill tree is. So we're going to do pet store. Now this stores him so you can have multiple pets as well. So, And then if you want him back, you have to do pet switch. And now... Uh, you can have one of 45 so you can just go ahead and go capture all these pets and you can just pick them and he's going to come back on out and then the last bit is so some of the other skills that you can do you can actually do a pet beacon but once again you have to unlock it in a skill tree which is a little bit more advanced to set up a skill tree but you can at least just give them access to it there's a whole lot of stuff that you can give people access to if you go ahead and check out all of those commands now once again that ties into your permissions plugin and then in there, you can give people access to whatever you want. If he maybe takes off more than he can handle. All right. He is about to not have a good day. We're going we're to walk him on over here. So anybody who's attacking. Yeah. So then there we go. So he got killed and he's going to respawn in five seconds. So that's pretty much it. He gets respawned. So... Let's get out of here. Okay, guys, that's about it for my pet. Like I said, it's pretty up, pretty quick and easy. It's not really like an echo pet where you can pick and choose whatever pet you want. This is kind of like a, a little bit like a Pokemon. You go capture your pets and then you can actually trade them, which is part of the admin or the premium version. And then at the end, you can do pet release. And then you have to connect, kick, uh, click on his name. And then if you have admin pri pri privileges, you can do pet admin. And then um, there's a lot of options in there of different kinds of pet admin stuff that you can do, like releasing other people's pets, uh, getting rid of some problem stuff, all that, that stuff to make 
your server better. So anyway, hopefully you guys found that video helpful and it gets up and running. This is a really cool plugin. It is free and there is a premium version. So if you like this plugin, you start using it, be sure to use that premium version to really just support the author and what he's doing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is Kaz. Remind you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. What did I say? After, what do I say after that?